The 90 Day Fiance, the show that desperate middle-aged American women turn to in hopes of luring a young, hot foreigner with the promise of the American dream, also known as the green card. My name is Mohammed. I am 28 years old. I came to this country from Tunisia to be with Daniel and start a life together. We can make everything work in 90 days so he don't have to go back to Tunisia. <laughs> True love, guys. If we talk about physically relationship, sure I think about it and Daniel is acceptable for me. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Talking to me? He's talking to me? Uh, shit. Uh, uh I want to tell you something about kissing that I'm not allowed to kiss in this uh, time because there is some specific things we do it in my religion mm -hmm. in this month. So, so that's why. My, my religion, yeah, my religion. Actually, I can't kiss on this month. In fact, for the next 90 days, I can't kiss anybody at all. Part of my religion. I came from Tunisia. I left everything there. I changed all my plans to come to the United States. Me and Mohammed are intimate. We kiss. We hug. We are like every other married America. couple. Since we got married, we've had many ups and we've had many downs. Marrying for a green card, what could go wrong? You have to promise me that there is no craziness or anything. Well, you're not gonna find out unless you come. Yeah, about that. I think I'll pass. It's kind of scary that my life is depending on Danielle's decision, you know? It's like she's not a stable person. Maybe next time you should avoid marrying somebody for a green card. I've made his life miserable since he's been here. They call that a gigolo, and you're gonna be lucky if your d don't fall off. I don't want to see you here anymore, okay? You are not welcome here, you understand that? You yes. will get deported with these. Yes, I'm fine with getting because, deported. Because! I'm fine with getting because. deported. Because! Look at her dangling the green card around. Like She wanted a slave, she didn't want a fiance. Do you want to know the last time I had sex with my husband? Absolutely not. Three months after we got married. That's it. Give this man the green card. You know what? Give him the citizenship. This man was willing to explore crevices and terrains that no other man would. Was there any intimacy after the wedding at all? After the wedding? Yes. There was, but we started facing a problem. Oh Danielle, can you tell us what he's talking about? It was because I smell and you I do. peed on him. Peed on? I think we all know what that was. Why do I have to be in that situation? No man in the world can accept that. Instead of taking care of that problem, she was like fighting with me over it. He should have loved me. Muhammad appears to be a rational man. He did tell her there's a problem, but she didn't want to fix the problem. She said, you gotta love me as I am. Listen here, Snorlax. In sickness and in health doesn't mean in sickness and in stench. And then she was sitting on the floor, crying, screaming in front of her teenagers. I want my sex tonight. If you don't give me my sex tonight, I will, I will, I will call the immigration. I will get you deported. He's allowed to be upset, but it's not fair that he gets to run off. We, all of us have to deal with it. All of us have to deal with it. So Snorlax here thinks she can use the green card to get whatever she wants. Yeah. You want the green card? You got to swim in my fountain juice. Danielle has the audacity to apparently smell this bad and then do a Snorlax body slam and scream, I want sex, in front of her kids nonetheless. Your stench is so bad that someone who wants to come to America said, you know what, I'm not willing to put up with this to be in America. Get me out of here. I'll deport myself. I'm also surprised, guys, that they're actually divorced now. But I mean, what can you expect? Just this lady literally catfished him. What? She straight up fished him. For those of you guys wondering whether or not Muhammad survived the foul wrath of the evil Snorlax, I'm happy to say he went back to some country and found himself a beautiful lap for us. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace!